G'day everyone, here we are today. We're going to have a look at the uh, Digger Magnum Mulcher. It's, uh, it comes in three different models. You've got a skid steer model, you've got a excavator model. Both of those models are a 1500 wide, 60 inch in the old terms. Um, they will do large clearing, it will do large diameter trees up to 200 diameter. And we also offer a excavator only model if you're just doing stump grinding and small vegetation removal on that excavator and you only have an excavator then you can get the smaller model. One of the advantages of the smaller model is it has a sweet spot at the back and if you lock that tree in the back there it'll just mulch that tree up and send all the debris straight down to the ground without flicking the tree around. The larger one a little bit more tricky to get that sweet spot but it does maintain the tree very well in the same spot because the tooth design is not a design that's sort of pushing across and the whole face of the teeth are contacting the tree at once. It's got each individual tooth striking it at the optimum time so that you're not getting stall through the drive. You're getting the maximum impact from that tooth hitting that tree. A couple of other features of the Magnum Mulcher is that it uses a synchronised belt so it has no pulleys or tension, that wheel, the drive wheel coming from the Ben axis motor and uh, so you're getting a positive drive. So one revolution of that cog drives that belt, you don't get any slippage. It has a four second stall recovery. So if you do jam a tree in there and you stall that rotor, then it will recover itself in four seconds. So again, optimum performance so that you're not got a lot of downtime. The belt is um, it's Kevlar in threads inside it. So it's very strong, very durable. It's gonna give you lots of life and service of life. It's rated to 200 horsepower. So as you'll see, each, each one of these models, we've got the tungsten carbide tooth set up. It's a double-sided carbide. So that means you've got carbides on this side and you've got carbides on this side. This is obviously the tooth that's doing the contacting at the top here. It's got a through design, so it will pass shreds and chips through it so again helps with stall. Now as that wears you can flip it around so you've got double the life of a tooth. The other option is a claw tooth so it's just a hard and steel. It's great for fibrous trees but it doesn't like contacting the ground. If you contact the ground with this you'll dull those teeth up very quickly and you'll be up for a replacement cost. But again it's a double sided tooth so you're getting double the bang for your buck. The drum, as we look at the drum here, it's a fully balanced drum. It's got a 25 mil thick wall and it's got a shaft that goes all the way through. It's not flange mounted on each side. So again, adds to that strength. If you're gonna stall it, you're not gonna damage that drum. That drum is very durable. The teeth are all balanced. So if you take the carbide teeth off and put the clawed teeth on, they're all weighted the same so you don't have to rebalance. The motor, which I mentioned before, was a Ben Axis motor. So it, it can be adjusted from anywhere from 1500 RPM to 2000 RPM. Different machines, different hydraulics. So you can tune the mulcher in to suit your specific machine. So if you're running this on two different machines, a bit of a tweak of the motor gets you your optimum performance out of each machine. As we see over here, I mentioned this was a skid steer and an excavator model. What makes this a skid steer model is we've got the push bar, so it's for driving into that scrub, for doing land clearing, fire breaks, pipeline maintenance, all those sorts of things. So it has a nice heavy duty push bar to push those scrub and tree out of the way so it stops it falling on the cab and can get munched up. It has a hydraulic uh, plate so you can open up, get your maximum exposure of those teeth and uh, clear the ground out. And then we also add in a oil cooler. So skid steers tend to have a smaller oil reservoir than the excavators. We run a cooler on it just to keep the system in optimum temperature and uh, stop it from overheating. It's got a multi-fit pickup, so a bob tatch type pickup on the back. You've also got a sight gauge, so it'll tell you by the needle, by the gauge, if you're stalling, if you're having a too big a bite, need to back off and, and just go again. All your electrics hyd come with it, so it's electric over hydraulic to, to operate all your functions and we operate your blower on your oil cooler. We step over here, which is the excavator model. So we've removed the push bar. 
We've removed the hydraulic ram for the gate. The gate becomes a free swinging gate and we add in the excavator mount plate. In the middle here, we would mount the excavator ears to suit your machine. Ideally, you want something around that 18, 20 ton type machine to fit it onto. You also remove your oil cooler because you don't need that in the excavator models. So again, same two system on both. There, the differences is really in the pickup. Skid steer, large excavator, smaller excavator, excavator only model. Check it out on Facebook, Instagram, all your social medias, YouTube. Check it out online or give us a call and see what we can do for you.